I, I take issues with, with the word machismo. I, I see it a lot in the literature. Um, my, my take has always been that uh, machismo is just sexism. But somehow when you say machismo, it's as if Latino versions of being sexist or misogynist is especially egregious. And it isn't. You know, sexism will look different in, you know, Latin America than it's going to look in North America. Right? It doesn't make it better or worse. You know, just like sexism will look different in L.A., where people are supposedly more cosmopolitan, than it's going to look in, you know, Texas or Florida or, you know, Kansas, right? Uh, sexism looks different. And so when people say machismo, I, I always feel like they're somehow stigmatizing, you know, Latinos' version of sexism. Like there's something especially egregious about it. And I don't think there is. You know, misogyny and sexism is bad. I don't care what culture you're in. Um, and... You know, it's detrimental to relationships. I think when, again, this goes to internalizing homophobia and negativity. So if you are so wedded to the idea that I have to be a man, then that is going to impact you in, in your relationship. But it's not just because you're gay, but it's hard to have an intimate relationship with anyone if you're so invested in being a man, in maintaining the status of manhood. Uh, it makes it hard to exp uh, experiment sexually, right? How many people, how many men have I met that they don't want to bottom, you know, uh, because men don't do that, you know, or that's not the macho thing to do. And I just feel like, wow, you're limiting yourself. You know, um, it's sexual pleasure. Go for it. Uh, so, again, if it's, it's just a way of limiting our humanity and connection to others and our own sexual exploration. So, again, I just think that sexism and these gender roles are just a bad thing. And I've always thought, and I've said this to some of my friends, that one of the nice things about being gay uh, one of the many nice things about being gay is that we really are at a, we really have this opportunity to break away from gender roles. Because I look at a lot of heterosexual folks, and that's like the struggle of gender roles, right? Women trying to be equal to men, men, you know, having issues with women, if they make more money or if they don't make more money, blah, 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 blah. There's just constant negotiation. And I feel like, well, we don't have to do that. We don't have to replicate that, right? We have two guys, we have two women you know, getting together. Let's try to break that mold. You know, I know our straight brothers and sisters are working very hard to break that mold. We're not even there because we don't have these, you know, we don't have to bring these gender dynamics when you have two people of the same gender, the same sex, you know, in this relationship. So when sexism and these gender roles impact us, then we really need to start looking at ourselves and how are we replicating, you know, oppression? How have we internalized these gender roles that are really detrimental to us? and to our ability to connect and be intimate with others.